Okay, so we've been talking about left side and right side of the graph. I'm gonna get a little mathier on you guys, okay? So when I talk about left side, left side of the graph, um, what I'm doing is I'm talking about when x is going to negative infinity, okay? That's what left side of the graph means. When I'm talking about the right side of the graph, guys, you wanna take a guess? What is x approaching? X is going to positive infinity, okay? And if you guys were to look at a graph, Okay, hold on, let me get my black marker out. If we're looking at a graph right here, okay, positive infinity is this way, and negative infinity is this way, right? If you're counting on the x-axis, all right, so that's left side versus right side. Now, there's a method, there's, a, there's a something we can do to this to help us visualize what the heck it's doing, okay? Um, now, you're not going to understand this first part right away, but you will eventually. So just hang on for a minute, close your eyes, don't really, but because you guys want to watch. But like, close your eyes as I drag you through the mud, and then I'm going to say, okay, now open them, and you're like, oh my god, I get it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the top, and we're going to take the bottom, and we're going to multiply it by a 1. We're going to multiply it by a weird 1. We're going to multiply it by a 1 over x. 1 over x. Now, this is a 1, right? If you take a number, 1 over x, and you divide it by the same number, it'll equal a 1, right? So I'm not changing it. I'm just manipulating it. But why? Why is it 1 over x? Guys, it's always going to be 1 over something, okay? And the bottom is what it's going to be is always going to be an x to a certain power. Now, this is x to the 1 power. Um, and the reason why I know it's x to the 1 power is because that's the highest degree on the, on the denominator. Okay, so uh, if I had a degree of 2, then you would say 1 over x squared and 1 over x squared. That's what you would do, okay? So uh, let's see what we get when we do this, when we manipulate it. Do you guys know what you guys get when you go x to the third times 1 over x? We get x squared, okay? See, if we go x to the third times 1 over x, we would get x to the third over x, which simplifies to x squared. Is, you guys all cool? With that, I mean, that's like Algebra 1 stuff, but I, you know, sometimes we need reminders. All right, so what do we get on the bottom? When I distribute this guy, I have to go multiply the 1 over x times the x and the 1 over x times the 1. Um, what do I get when I multiply it times the x? You guys know? No? It would be 1. Okay. No, no, don't, don't let me lose you just because I did this. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that later some more. Okay. What is, what is 1 times 1 over x? 1 over x. Yeah, okay, that was easy. Okay, now this is what we're going to do. We're going to have to consider the left side and the right side of the gra this graph. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at each of these parts separately. Now, you guys know what this graph looks like. You guys know what this graph looks like. And you guys know what this graph looks like. Right? Yeah. Like, if we, we consider each of those. You guys know what all those look like. Uh, here, I'll give you a graph of each of them right away. Okay, this is x squared. This is the parent right here. Okay, this is x squared. Um, hold on. Can't draw a 2 right there. Okay, uh, this is x squared. All right, now you guys can tell me. What's the left side? What y value is the left side approaching? Positive infinity, right? What y value is the right side approaching? Positive infinity. So it's positive infinity, positive infinity. Okay, cool. Um, what about uh, x equals 1? When I graph x equals 1, we just go like straight across, right, at 1. Um, if you guys, if I were to ask you what is the left side approaching, what would you guys say? 1. And what's the right side approaching? 1. Okay, so we got that one down. Uh, now the last one, uh, we graph this today for our desk problem. Okay, this is what 1 over x looks like. Do you guys know what the left side is approaching? Zero. Zero. What's the right side approaching? Zero. Zero. Okay, so you guys know what the left and right sides are approaching for each of these. For each of these, you know what uh, it is approaching. Now, if you know that, you can make predictions. And what we're going to do, essentially, must do, is we're going to plug in a negative infinity. Now, that's weird because you can't really do that because negative infinity is not a number, but it's a concept. It's an idea, all right? And I'm trying to tell you guys, um, think of left side of the graph when you oh, see well, negative infinity. Small, okay, so <clears throat> let's do the left side. What is this guy approaching when we're going left? Left side of this graph, what's it approaching? No, this guy. Oh, sorry. Right here, right here. Yeah, so that one's positive infinity. Okay, what is this guy approaching? On the left side? One. Uh, one. And what is this guy approaching? On the left side? 
Zero? So we go plus zero. So what would infinity divided by one be? Infinity. Okay, so this is the answer. Oh my god. Okay, so I mean, if you are going to the left side of the graph, f of x, which is this guy right here, we're gonna say this guy is f of x, would be approaching infinity. Okay, hang with me because I'm gonna do the right side now. Okay, the right side. All right, now, uh, the right side, okay, what's the right side of this graph approaching? Look at it, what's the right side of this graph approaching? Infinity. Positive infinity, okay, so it's positive infinity. <laughs> And then uh, what's the right side of this graph approaching? One. Uh, one. And what's the right side of this graph approaching? Zero. Zero. So what does this equal? Again, infinity. Again, infinity. So um, our answer would be f of x is approaching oh infinity. Wow, that okay. Makes no sense. <laughs> that means no sense to you at all? I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. So you guys understand like left side and right side when you guys have simple graphs like this, right? Okay. Right? Okay. So I'm assuming that I lost you all when I did this. Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay. So really quick, let me show you what this graph looks like. See how crazy this graph looks like? You get, he looks familiar, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay, the left side, the left side is approaching infinity. The right side is approaching infinity, which you guys can easily tell just by looking at the graph. Uh, I, I'm trying to give you guys a method Uh, for when uh, you don't have the graph, okay? We're gonna do it algebraically. Okay, let's try another one. 